Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Trang. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm so glad you found this video. And for everyone else, hi, welcome back. I am a budgeting mom of two and I am currently on a journey to be debt-free while trying to increase my savings for my kids and also for my lifestyle and myself. So if you guys like what you see, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more videos and I hope you guys join me on my journey. So for today's video, this is going to be a cash stuffing for February. I know I'm a little late. I feel like I'm always late. So let's start by counting how much we are stuffing for today. This is actually a lot more than usual just because I have my Etsy taxes in here that I will be putting away. And this is for the month of January. So let's go ahead and count this really quick. We have... 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 2000, and 100. And then we have a 50. If you guys hear any noises in the background, that's just my son. He's up super early. It's currently 7 in the morning. Um, so yeah, just don't mind the noises. And then we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. And then we have 1, 2, 3. So for today's stuffing, we are stuffing $2,488. Before I forget, I do have some change in here. I do want to put away. Okay, that's the last one. And then I do have some money in here. I think this is to deposit though. So I have to deposit this. And I think this is extra money. This is extra spending money that was given to me for my fiance. So I will be adding that towards the end because I'm not too sure what I want to do with it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, first up we have Amazon Prime. This is getting $11. So now we have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. Next up, we have birthdays. This is getting another $10, so it now has 10, 20, 30. Birthdays is now all done. Next up for Bubs, he's also getting another 10. So now he has 10, 20, 30. Next up for Christmas. Christmas is getting $40. So now it has a total of 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. I always get so excited to stuff for Christmas just because it's pretty early on right now. So I can't wait to see how much um, I'm able to save up for Christmas this year. I started pretty late last year. So I'm excited for this one. Christmas is now all done. Next up for emergency. Emergency will be getting $20, so now it has 20, 40, 60. Alright, emergency is all done. Next up for eye care. 
this will be getting $15 and I know I have to place an order for my contacts soon and I know that's going to be quite expensive so we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 Alright, eye care is not all done. Next up for kids, my kids will be getting 50. So now they have 50, 100, 150. And I might be buying them clothes soon, so I might have to spend this money soon. And they are outgrowing their current size, so we are probably going to go shopping soon for them. Alright, kids is not all done. Next up for kids' birthdays. This is getting $25, and Haley's birthday will be coming up first. It's June 1st. I recently taught her that, and so now she's walking around saying, June 1st, June 1st is my birthday, and she's asking if she can have a birthday party, so I'm preparing for that. We are going to probably head back to the Bay Area to celebrate with more of our family and friends, so I do have to save up more for her birthday since it is coming up in about four months. So just trying to get a head start. Birthdays now has 20, 40, 45, 50. So my income for Etsy for January was quite a lot and um, I'll do a little breakdown in a bit but I have I made more than enough so I can actually do another stuffing for all of my sinking funds. And I'm excited because it's just an additional income to add to this. And it'll help me save up quicker, which is awesome. All right, kids' birthday is now all done. Next up for savings. I still didn't make my own savings um, challenge binder from the last time I told you guys. I did leave it with my dad and I did not make myself a new one yet just because I've been so busy with Etsy orders and just life so I will be making it soon but I am combining my savings challenge and also savings into this current envelope so we currently have 150, 200, 250, 300 and for my savings it's 50 but I'll add another 50 um, to make it 100 for the challenge so now we currently have $400 for savings, which is pretty amazing just because um, I just started in January and to have 400 saved and it's not even the end of February is crazy and amazing and I feel very blessed to be able to save this much in such a short amount of time is, is awesome and I just want to thank everyone who has been purchasing from my shop because I'm able to have more than enough to save while paying off everything that I have to pay off. So thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for that. Um, okay, so savings is not all done. Next up for vacation. Vacation will be getting $20. So now it has 20, 40, 60. Okay, so this binder is done. But before I leave, um, I just wanted to go over this with you guys in case you guys are wondering these envelopes right here, um, I've I've created these envelopes and yes, they are on my Etsy shop and the only difference is that um, these are the vellum mat and I usually have the words going across but this time I had it going horizontally and this is just for my own preference. If you guys want the words horizontally, that's fine. Just let me know in the notes. And if you want it the normal way, then just leave everything as is. But this is the vellum matte envelopes. And I really, really, really like the matte. It just feels different. It looks so chic. And I am just completely in love with it. That I changed all of my envelopes to have this matte um, vellum feel and look. So just wanted to mention that really quick for you guys. Okay, so this binder... It's now all done. Let's go into our other short-term sinking fund binder. Okay, so for eating out, I did put a hundred in here last time, and now we have currently five, six, seven, eight dollars for um, our balance. 
I'm not sure if I want to just continue to add so that we have more like leeway with eating out or if I want to like just take out this money and put it towards something else but I do feel like we ate out way less so um I might just leave it in here and just see how it goes for the rest of the week so this is getting another a hundred dollars so now it has one hundred and five six seven eight the only thing we ate out was um we had shabu like we actually just bought the broth from the restaurant and we had the meat from a friend who has the meat sliced up already so we bought that from her we were able to save so much um, doing it that way compared to actually going out to eat and sitting down at the restaurant because we still have leftovers that we're able to eat even up to today and it's been like three days it was definitely worth the money compared to eating out so now we have more than enough for this week hopefully all right eating out is now all done next up for gas we did spend all of our gas money so now we have to replenish and now and gas is getting 20 40 50 All right, gas is now all done. Next up for family fun. I do want to take Haley to like a bounce house. Uh, well, not just Haley. Haley and Zenith to the bounce house. But not anytime soon just because in Southern California, there's like a blizzard warning and everything. So we are not going out soon. So let's just continue to save up. Family fun is getting 20, $22. So now we have 20 40 45 46, 47, 48, 49. I'm sure this have already covered the cost for like a bounce house type of thing, but um, since we can't go yet, we'll just continue to stuff for it. And to everyone else, I hope you guys are doing okay and staying safe with this blizzard warning. It's just so weird to hear it coming from um, Southern California. Except we have Starbucks. I recently um, bought Starbucks, so I took some funds out. We are going to replenish it and just put five this time. I feel like it was a treat because I had a long week. <laughs> and it's been a while since I've had Starbucks. And it honestly, it just hits so different compared to making it at home. But I will continue to drink my coffee at home to cut costs and save money while I can. Alright, so Starbucks is now all done. Next up for date night. Date night will be getting $20. So this says 20, 40, 60. I'm not sure when our next date night will be. But we shall see. Date night's all done. Next up for groceries. So this has some change. So we have 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43. So like I said, the only thing we spent on groceries was to get stuff to eat our Shabu hot pot. And honestly, I'm like a veggie type of girl, so we only bought like like mushrooms and and like cabbage and just minor things. And we did like pick up some other stuff for the pantry, but that was about it. So we do have leftover money. I'm gonna leave this in here just so that this week we have um, more of a leeway for our groceries. So now we have. Uh, 100, 200, 220, 230, 240, 241, 42, 43. 243 for groceries for this week. Groceries is now all done. Next up, I do have my Costco membership. I swear, I thought this was supposed to be $10, but um, let's just do 20 and see. Alright, Costco membership is now all done. Next up for beauty. Beauty will be getting $15. Okay, beauty now has 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So I mentioned that for beauty. Um, I wanted to get some e.l.f. products, but I do have dry skin. And after seeing some videos about this product i'm actually really iffy right now i feel like i have to try it for myself 
to find out because there's like mixed reviews out there so I'm not sure if I want to buy it yet I'm just gonna do some more research before I do so we have $50 saved up I just got my nails done and honestly it was like the worst experience of my entire life if you guys didn't know I have so much anxiety going to the nail salon just because I've always had like really short like nails and honestly that's my like biggest insecurity um, my nails anytime I get anxious or like just sad or depressed or whatever the case is um, when I'm like down in my feelings I like bite my nails and it's something it's like I know it's a really bad habit and I'm trying to get rid of it but I always like fall back into it which really sucks and and so I hate going to the nail salon because I know that people will say something and yes I am Vietnamese so I can understand a hundred percent of everything that is being said I can speak the language I can understand the language and although I may not look a hundred percent Vietnamese and that's why most people um, never think that I am and will proceed to speak in their language in the language and I will just pretend like I I don't understand because I really want to hear what they're trying to say about me and honestly nine out of ten times it's just pretty awful things and I never say anything but last night like that was my last like <laughs> that was my last straw like I got my nails done and the nail tech was really really rude honestly he kept going on and on about how I'm making his his job like a hundred times worse just because my nails are so short and he had to put in extra work just to, like just to get them done honestly this was just like acrylic and a dip powder and that was it and he was saying that this was like really difficult to do um, and he said it in Vietnamese of course and he was just making fun of how it looks saying like how can a girl have such ugly hands I've never seen such ugly nails and hands before when they asked him how much my nails were going to cost and how much he was trying to charge me I think one of the ladies says $43 but um, he was like yeah 43 but no let's do 53 I'm going to charge her extra now because um, I'm going to tell her to come back in a week because I'm pretty sure the nails are going to fall off because her nails are so weak and brittle and and she barely has anything like on her nail um like anything on the nail bed so it's probably going to fall off and she's going to come back and complain and honestly I've never complained I've never came back to a nail salon to complain about anything I'm the type where even if it's really horrible I would just walk away and still pay and tip them and then be upset at home <laughs> so yeah he was saying how I would come back and complain so he's going to upcharge me now and charge an additional ten dollars that way it covers the cost for the next time I come back and then he'll act as if it's free of charge and I was so upset you guys I was like oh my god like I really wanted to say something but I just I just thought you know this is not the time like I cannot just get up right now he's not even done with my nails so I just waited and I sat there and he he said a couple more things and his co-workers were trying to tell him like hey like she might understand um, because he kept pointing at his nails like the nail bed and they were like worried that I might have understood and um, he was like oh don't worry she doesn't understand when I was done I I had my wallet out because I just wanted to get out of there as quickly as possible and this was during closing time so honestly while he was talking about how ugly my nails are and all that like people were gathering around watching me and I felt like a freaking zoo animal honestly and it was like it was very upsetting when he finished my nails I got up and I said oh it's $53 right and I said it in Vietnamese and he was like wait and the girl next to me his co-worker was like oh my god like I told you and he was like what and then I repeated it and I was like it's $53 right I gave him the 53 he didn't he was just like oh um and he didn't know what to say and I just gave the money tipped him as well because I knew I wasn't coming back like and I just said hey um I'm not coming back and you should just be kind and I just walked away and I was so upset uh, I told my fiance I am never coming back to a nail salon because it's one of my biggest insecurity and my fiance actually pushed me to go. I've been doing my nails at home and he was like, you know, just go have a self-care day and it was honestly just ruined and 
I never want to come back to a salon just because it's not just this guy this time, but it's every experience, every encounter I've had at a nail salon has been pretty awful. Whether they know that I am Vietnamese or not, they continue to say things. Um, so I just don't want to put myself in that situation anymore. I am going to do my best to grow my nails at home. So if you guys have any, any tips and tricks, please let me know. I'm probably going to buy some stuff off of Amazon to help with nail growth and all that. But um, yeah, that was my crappy experience. I hope none of you guys ever have to go through that. Um, it's just terrible. Like To actually understand what they're saying is it's just pretty upsetting and sad. But anyways, at least it's just cutting costs for my nails. Alright, beauty's not all done. Sorry I went off tangent. I just had to tell you guys the story for this household um, this is getting $15. So now it has 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Next up, miscellaneous currently has 5. Now has 10. Costco. I'm just going to add $100. I know it's usually 80 but... We have a little more cushion this time, so I'm putting in 100. We do have to go to Costco very soon, so Costco has 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 255, 260. I would like to think this is um, more than enough, but honestly, I don't think so. We are going to Costco very soon because we are almost out of diapers, and diapers right off the bat is $50. Good thing we have more than enough. I do want to do like a day in my life using my cash envelopes and like the process of how I use them. So I will probably save it for a day where I can do like multiple errands in a day. Okay, so Costco is now all done. And then I do also have my spending money. Okay, so for spending, this is getting another $20. So it now has 20, 40, 60, 65. And for spending, it's just like for myself. So I'm not too sure what I want to do. I do have this much left over from my wallet. So I do want to put this away. Um, just got to figure out which, where I want to put it. Family fun. Do you want to put in, let's put it in at $10. Sorry, it's like all over the place. So Family Fund now has 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Um, I don't like how it's like odd like that. So I'm going to put another one to make it 60. Cool. Okay, Starbucks is not a priority. Date night groceries. Um... I think for Bubs, I want to put in $20 for him. Do I want to put it for, for my fiance or for Christmas? Okay, maybe I'll put it in for Christmas because Christmas is important. <laughs> so let's put 20 for Christmas. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. All right, and then let's put, for my kid's birthday, let's put 25. So we just doubled it today, which is awesome. So 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75 dollars. And then I also have 21 dollars, so like vacation is not a priority right now. I feel like I can put it like whose birthday is coming up. Maybe I'll put it in emergency or date night. Um, or 
or just yeah I'll just put it into his spending money because I'm not sure if there's F extra spending money and I don't use anything I might just split it or lower the amount so we're putting the money into spending so it now has 20 40 60 80 85 86 dollars cool okay all right so now this is all done this money right here is for my Etsy taxes and it's actually 30% of my gross sales all right so let's count how much this is 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 800 900 1000 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 800 900 and 10 15 i think i rounded up like two dollars but that's okay i know that it's a lot of money and i just want to thank you guys all for supporting my shop and buying from me because like I honestly wouldn't have all this to stuff and put away and save and get rid of debt and all of that um, if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you again. I'm going to put this away. I didn't make an Etsy um, envelope yet just because it is a lot of money. So I probably won't put it in an envelope unless it's one of those zippered ones because I mean this is just January's and I know February's is going to be... Um, quite a lot as well so don't think an envelope is going to cut it honestly so I will figure it out my binders came in I'm super excited I'm gonna show you guys really quick okay so these are my binders right here I have them in black tan and this ivory white Uh, let's just open up the black one. I'm most excited for this one. This is basically the same size as these right here. It's a personal size. I know it says like A6, but it's a regular A6. True A6 size will not fit this. Um, and how you can tell is by measuring the distance between this right here from this ring to this ring and if it's about two inches then it will fit most of the envelopes which is personal size if it's not two inches then it's considered um true a6 and it will not fit my envelopes or the other envelopes that are out there so this is my binder this is the one i have on amazon and it's very um like glossy smooth this one is a pebbled leather i love the feeling it's soft it reminds me of the moterm but moterm is like way softer um this has like some like moterm is just like very bendy because it's so soft there's like literally nothing to like hold it together but uh, this one has a little more structure so i kind of really like that I like that this has zipper compartment so if I wanted to take this out I don't have to bring my wallet compared to like this one right here I don't have any zipper compartments in here that's why I also have to bring my wallet and I don't like that I have to bring like two separate things I'm glad that it came these are my three colors it's currently available on my Etsy right now so if you guys are interested um, go ahead and check out my Etsy shop I'll have everything linked down below Alright guys, so that basically concludes my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit that subscribe and like button. And I hope you guys are having a great day. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.